بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے کنٹینیو دا ٹاپک آف دا پیرل کلپرس ویئر ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی آلریڈی سین دی پیرل نیگیٹو کلپرس سو ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک وڈ بی وٹ ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک لیٹ اٹ بی دا پیرل پازیٹو کلپرس سو وچ مین دیٹ دا ڈائی وڈ وڈ بی کنیکٹیڈ ان 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 parallel with the load right and then what happens the positive portion of the waveform is clipped or or the, the clipping is done above a certain level right yes yeah, so we'll understand it right now so anyway let us let us start with the basic circuit the first the plus minus v input a current limiting resistor r and then you have a diode connected the output is directly taken across these terminals plus minus v output so the simplest case of all what would be the thing the thing is let's say if we have a sinusoidal input let's say that we have a or a square wave or let's say a triangular wave whatever you want it to be so this is a periodic wave would repeat right so for the diode to be forward biased what it has to do the input voltage should be greater than zero yes because plus is connected to p side and minus connected to n side so in the positive cycle it is being forward biased in the positive cycle it's being forward biased directly you could say v output so if it's forward biased the output voltage is zero the output voltage is zero till t by two right yes now what happens if the polarity is reversed or the input voltage is less than zero which means this is connected negative is now connected to the p side positive is connected to n side or the voltage connected to the n side is greater with respect to p side this would be reverse bias this would be an open circuit which means the output would be directly the input so this is the case just do it simply and this is what it repeats so have a look again we have a half wave rectified circuit no that would be over there so uh, the transfer characteristics the transfer characteristics are what this is if the input voltage this is if the output voltage so the input voltage is if uh, uh, greater than zero so the output is zero the output is simply zero and when the input voltage is less than zero the output is equal to the input so this is the these are the transfer characteristics yes so i should have mentioned that properly that the voltage across the diode is greater than zero makes it forward biased which means input voltage is greater than zero in that case the output voltage would be zero right similarly if the voltage across the diode is less than zero this makes it reverse biased which means over here the input voltage is less than zero this would imply that the output voltage is equal to the input voltage yes yes so you understand it basically and that's why i am going in a little speed so if you have to name the clipper what sort of a clipper it is so this is an unbiased parallel parallel positive clipper this first case is for the unbiased unbiased parallel positive clipper the second case the second case so let's say we have this circuit plus minus input resistor diode reference voltage source additional dc source this plus minus v r v d simple v whatever you want to name it and the output is taken across these terminals plus minus v output now for the diode to be forward biased the p to n voltage should be greater than zero what is the p to n voltage so plus is connected to p side v r v input and then plus is connected to n side so minus of v r should be greater than zero which means that the input voltage should be greater than v r to make the diode forward biased and when this is forward biased this would be a short circuit and the output voltage would simply be equal to the reference voltage v r right so draw it 
Now, what do we draw it in the end? Similarly, for so it to be reversed bias, the voltage across the diode should be less than zero. So, which means that input voltage minus the reference voltage should be less than zero, or the input voltage should be less than V R. So, this would imply what that this is an open circuit. This is an open circuit, so the output voltage is directly equal to the input voltage. So, let us draw the the input voltage let's say a sinusoid let's say and then you have a an output voltage so let us we have a positive vr reference we have a positive vr as a reference over here this is t by two point this is T point. So what happens when the input is greater than VR, output is equal to VR. So if this is VR, so if input is greater than VR, V output is equal to VR, which means in this case. And when the input is less than VR, V output is equal to V input, which means like this. And I believe that I have drawn it properly and yes, I have. Transfer characteristics, transfer characteristics, input, this is output. So positive VR is a reference, positive VR is a reference. So when the input is less than VR, output is equal to input, output is equal to input. And when the input voltage is greater than VR, the output is equal to VR. These are the transfer characteristics, which means this is the output quantity versus the input quantity. So have a look. What sort of a clipper? This is a positive clipper. Why? Because the clipping has been done above a certain level or the positive portion is clipped. Right? And we know that this is a positive parallel clipper. But this time it is biased. This time it is biased. And what sort of a biasing is it? So have a look the reference voltage polarity. Don't look at that. Have a look over here. The reference voltage I told you to, to take the input sign as positive. Take the input sign as positive. And what sign is the VR? VR is positive. So if VR is positive, which means this is a positively biased clipper. So this circuit is a positive biased parallel positive clipper. Should I give you the next as a homework, which is the last? I've solved all of them, so why don't you get this a homework? No? Okay, no. When reference voltage, diode, resistor, plus, minus, output again have a look p is connected the voltage across the diode should be greater than zero to make it forward biased when would this diode be forward biased for the positive cycle it is forward biased it is forward biased or let that be so what is the input across it the 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 what is the input across the input across is, is that plus is connected to p side so you have a v input right and then you have a minus so minus is connected to the n side so you have a uh, so you have a minus of vr right and this should be greater than zero right yes i told you over here have a v input plus connected to p side so plus then minus so you have a plus connected to the n so take a plus as well over here, minus is connected to the N side. So you have to take a minus, minus of VR. In the previously, maybe I've just confused this point. You need to take this VR positive with the negative as it is. Over here, you have the negative sign from, from the first and you take the minus of the VR. I hope you have understood it. I made it a little confusing. I may sound a little confusing, but you know what happens. If directly plus is connected, so take the positive value. If 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 
if the negative is connected take the negative value yes so in this case what would happen that v input voltage should be greater than minus of vr input voltage greater than vr so the so this would imply that this is short circuited so the output have a look what we call to minus of vr right yes next next is what to make it reverse bias the voltage should be less than zero if the voltage is less than zero this means that the input voltage uh, plus the reference voltage directly from the minus minus plus so this should be less than zero or input voltage should be less than minus of vr so this would imply that this is an open circuit so the output would directly be equal to the input let's have the curves let's have the curves say this is my time axis this is my input voltage omega t or simply t whatever you like it to be this is my output axis let's say i have a sinusoid sinusoid again this is just you know a standard signal so that's why mostly we do it for the analysis purposes so we have a minus v reference in this case have a look minus v reference i told you that the input take the positive side with the input so then check what happens with the reference so the reference is minus so this is minus if we are so what is this if this is a minus of vr so which means this is a negatively biased this is a negative biased what parallel clipper right and what sort of a clipper so we see over here so let me just drop down these points this is the t by 2 point this is the t point so when the input voltage is greater than we are is greater than minus of we are we output is equal to minus of we are I, I have i made a mistake no 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 let me just draw a minus of we are over here so when the input voltage is greater than minus of we are output is equal to minus of we are so till this point this is your t by 2 point and then when it is uh, less than minus of VR, so output is simply equal to the input. So which means till here. This is this point. This is the T point. And it would repeat in such a manner. This is your T by 2 point. This is this point. This is this point. This is T point right yes so i hope you, you have understood it now what sort of a clipper is this these are for the transfer characteristics so it has clipped a portion of the waveform that is above a certain reference level that is this vr is the, uh, the reference level so which means this is uh, again a positive clipper so let's say the transfer characteristics so we have the minus of vr is our reference voltage or you could say the transition voltage that the book has written the definition of transition voltage please read it out this is the the level where the the the, the diode state changes i believe from positive to negative or negative to positive so you check it over there so when the input voltage is greater is less than minus of v r v output is equal to v input the output is equal to V input when the input voltage is less than minus of VR. And then when the input voltage is greater than minus of VR, so V output is equal to simply minus of VR. So let this point be minus of VR. So these are the transfer characteristics. And that is it about it. That is everything you have about the clipper circuit or the limiter circuit. We have discussed each and every case one by one. So this one was for the parallel shunt positive clipper, unbiased, positive biased, negative biased. Still, if you have any doubt, you have any question, you let me know in the comment section. And I am here for you guys. You have any suggestion regarding anything you are welcome in the comment section you don't like anything about it anything it could be maybe the video quality maybe the audio quality maybe my handwriting maybe the lightning whatever you don't like whatever you like just let me know in the comment section 
if you like the content that I'm making, if you, if you're finding it helpful, you, you need to appreciate me, of course, in the comment section. So please, I need your suggestions as well. I need your comment. I need your feedback. That is quite helpful in improving the improving the content. Anyways, I finish this video over here. Maybe we see some examples about clippers in the next video. One video or two videos or maybe not a single video. Then we'll move to the next topic. So till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And yes, of course, do remember me in your prayers. And do subscribe to the channel. And we also have a Facebook page. The link is in the comment section uh, in the description. So you like and follow us over there as well. And of course, we have a website as well. So the link is also in the description where you may f you, you find notes of these topics. Every topic, the reference books, the textbooks are readily available. So anyways, that is it. Goodbye.